Hey everyone, so at least here in the US right now, the iPad 9 is on sale for only $250. That is a very cheap price for a very nice tablet. Uh, so yes, this tablet is now a few years old. Uh, it does have the A13 processor in it, which is still a very good processor. Uh, it still has the old school look, so you have these giant forehead and giant chin. And you still have the home button down there as well. Uh, but personally, I do like this look and this thing is incredibly thin and this is one very thin tablet I uh, love the way this thing feels in the hand. But again, this thing is only $250 right now That is a very very good price for this device So I just want to show off a little bit of Roblox here I know a lot of people might be looking at something for their kid to play some Roblox on I'm going to show off Arsenal because Arsenal shows you an FPS counter built into the game itself so uh, first, you can see this thing loads in rather quickly. And we do have this in max graphics. And if we go ahead here, and you see the FPS counter is right there. Probably hard to see. But it's at 60 frames per second, which is incredible. And it will stay at 60 frames per second for the most part. It will try to go up above it, but it's kind of stuck at 60 frames per second, especially as I run into a wall. But you can see that. Hopefully, you guys can see that. It tries to go above 60 frames per second, but it's kind of stuck at 60 frames per, per second. And that is how it is with pretty much any game in Roblox. You're going to be able to play anything you want in max graphics, which is incredible, especially for only 250 bucks. And the same goes for web browsing. So again, this thing is fast. So Best Buy is kind of a heavier website. It's kind of harder to load in for uh, budget-friendly tablets, which this is now definitely in that budget-friendly uh, tablet range for only 250 bucks. I mean, you can see how fast it loads in here. I mean, this is, in my opinion, will be the best tablet you can buy for less than 300 bucks. Uh, you can step up to the iPad 10, which is a little bit, a little bit better, a bit newer looking, for another another hundred bucks. For so at 350 bucks, but I think for most people, this is going to be where it's at for $250, this thing is phenomenal. This is a very, very good tablet. But now, of course, like anything, there are some, I guess, downsides to this tablet, but I think they really don't matter all that much, especially when you spend 250 bucks. Uh, one is this display. I know a lot of people do not like the display on the iPad 9. Personally, it does not bother me. Uh, I, I'm not... I, it just doesn't bother me. I mean, it's not the best display. It's not, you know, the greatest display out there, of course. But again, especially given the now $250 price tag, I don't think that really matters all that much. Uh, the one thing that does bother me, bother me personally a little bit more is you only have, you, well, you have two speakers right there and right there, but they're both on the same side. There are no other speakers. And the iPad 10 has a speaker on one side and on the other. Again, this only has them both on one side. I'm gonna play off some royalty free music here and y'all can decide for yourself. That is next up. It is pretty loud, but it is, of course, one-sided. It is not on the other side, since both speakers are on the same side. Again, it doesn't bother me all that much, because it is pretty loud. But if you're playing games and stuff where you want to hear, be, be able to hear things coming from both sides, you're not going to be able to as well as, say, some other, even iPad 10. But again, to me, that's not the biggest of deal, especially, again, when you spend 250 bucks on a tablet. This thing is phenomenal for 250 bucks. To me, again, this is the best tablet you can buy for less than 300 bucks right now. And I would say if you are looking to get yourself an iPad or one for your kids or something like that, iPad 9 to me is where it is at. Uh, yeah, y'all let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching. Hope